Now, your most accurate forecast from the First Coast News Weather Team, sponsored by AC Designs. All right. No overhype on Fiona. I'm going to show one more graphic and then we're going to get local. OK, but uh, the tropics certainly very, very local. Uh, the 60 mile an hour wind moving west at 15 miles an hour and you notice the cone and it's been very consistent run after run after run computer model still fairly consistent with a moderate level of confidence that this thing is going to curve torn, turn north and miss us out towards the ocean. But notice you got to keep all edges of the cone in mind and land interaction, especially when it gets to Hispaniola. Think about the mountains of Haiti, the Dominican Republic. That is a big game of Plinko. If you remember Price is Right, my man Bob Barker would play that and that was my favorite and it can do pretty much anything over those mountains. So we watch, we wait, we prepare a little bit, just maybe some uh, high priority items at the grocery store this weekend, because why not? And then when it misses us to, uh, out in the ocean, we're ready for the next one. All right, uh, another sunset, another one in the books over the River City by the Sea as we take a look out towards Mayport and doing some stargazing. We had some showers out towards the Cape that delayed the SpaceX launch. We're going to have a nice evening time launch. I can't wait to see it, but we're going to have to wait again. So you're going to have to wait. Um, the story of our morning is going to be showers moving in from the ocean. We've got a northeast flow happening right now, so we can uh, expect a, a bit of a rainy morning uh, tomorrow morning. You see the showers coming in off St. Augustine, so the next three, four hours you could get a little bit of rain. So when you wake up and the grass is wet, that's why. I do take a peek down towards the Cape. We had a couple of uh, lousy little thunderstorms out there. You had uh, lightning warnings in place and that kept the rocket from going up. Let's put our computer model into forecast uh, into motion to look at our forecast for our weekend as we go through Friday. We're talking 40 50% chances of afternoon showers and thunderstorms happening. Our Saturday a little more widespread, but notice still isolated. I you know, it's hard to call it an all day washout because there are going to be peaks of sun in there for Saturday, but Sunday certainly seems to be the weather pick for Jags football. Uh, looking a okay right now. Even temperatures might be moderated just a bit, even if we did get a quick shower. So for our Friday, 85 degrees, heavy showers spreading inland, but these will be a uh, short lived spreading quickly. Uh, your beach and boat forecast. We've got a high tide at one o'clock in the afternoon, so a little bit of low water in the morning for your morning walks. Uh, taking a look at these seven day forecasts. Notice our rain chances uh, increasing through our weekend. Notice our temperatures as well. So not none of those hot, muggy mid 90s that'll really drain the energy and take the soul out of you as you try to get to a Jags football game and you're sitting in the sun all day. We'll have some good cloud cover. The rain would cool things off. If we did get any, we should be good for kick. Then by Tuesday, we'll keep our eyes out as Fiona would emerge into the Bahamas.